Hi, this is Catherine Morgan Nance. I'd like to walk you through a comprehensive variance analysis problem. Uh, we will do this in several different videos. Here are the facts. Perfect Pool produces a powder used to clean pools. It sells its cleaning powder in a four pound bucket. The company developed the following standard cost to produce one bucket of cleaning powder. Direct materials standards indicate the company will use five pounds of materials at $4 per pound for a total standard cost of $20. The company expects direct labor to take a quarter of an hour, 0.25 hours per bucket at $12 per direct labor hour for a total cost of $3 in direct labor per bucket. Variable manufacturing overhead is applied on the basis of direct labor hours, therefore the hours used to apply overhead are the same as the direct labor hour, 0.25 hours, but the variable POHR, predetermined overhead rate, is $8 per direct labor hour, therefore a quarter of an hour times $8 per direct labor hour is $2 in manufacturing overhead. The total standard cost per bucket is $25. Now here are some additional facts. During the period, the company produced 1,000 buckets of this pool clear cleaning powder. The company also purchased 5,500 pounds of direct materials at a cost of $21,450. The company had no beginning inventory and had 700 pounds of inventory on hand at the end of the year. This means that they used how many pounds? Hmm, 5,500 minus 700 is 4,800 pounds. The direct labor workforce worked a total of 220 hours and were paid a total of $3,080 and variable overhead of $1,870 and fixed overhead of $800 were incurred. As we move into the variance analysis, I wanted to point out a couple things. First of all, uh, I've prepared an analysis uh, Excel worksheet and I use this frequently uh, to analyze data. On the left-hand side of the Excel spreadsheet, you'll see that I have uh, computations for actual costs. And on the right-hand side, you'll see that I have computations for the standard cost allowed for the actual quantity produced. And in the middle, there's a column called split cost. And this really is nothing more than a, a way for us to split our overall spending variance into uh, the rate and the efficiency or the price and the quantity variances. So split costs just take a look at actual quantities consumed or worked stated in terms of the standard rate or price per unit. And again, this I, I needed to give it a name, and so uh, this column a name, and so I've called it split cost. So with that information, let's move next to computing direct material variances. <laughs> 